uh, you don't think those guys from earlier are chasing us, do you? No, I think we're okay for now. They weren't shadows, right? No, they didn't even seem like Persona users. Their fighting style was completely different from ours. Then what are they doing inside the TV? Good question. Think someone tossed them in here? Someone? Who could it be? Hell if I know. But we didn't come here by choice either. There must be some sort of culprit behind all this. You think? I guess that makes sense. So if they were tossed in here too, maybe they had a keystone that they needed to protect and... No, wait, that wouldn't add up. Yeah. They weren't trying to protect their keystone, they were trying to take ours. So they've got a different objective in this tournament, huh? Do you think they were the ones who brought us here in the first place? Oh, all this thinking is frying my brain. Let's worry about that later. So, do you think we're really inside the TV? I've been wondering about that. It's similar, but there aren't any shadows. I can't quite describe why, but it feels different somehow. Right? Still, if we're able to summon our personas, then it's definitely not the ordinary world. Yeah, really wishing Teddy or Rise were here to shed some light on this place right now. Well, as long as we can get out of here, I don't care where we are. It is pretty handy that we can use our personas, though. I don't think we would have stood a chance against those guys without them. Yosuke, wait. Someone's coming. Huh? Where? Over there. With a beef skewer in each hand. Wait, huh? And that's... Yukiko! Yukiko, where are you? Answer me! It's, it's Satonaka. Satonaka! Satonaka! Hanamura! And not Okami-kun's with you! What are you guys doing here? That's our line, dummy! What are you doing here? I... I don't know. We just stopped to buy some snacks. When I suddenly got dizzy, and when I came to, I was here, and Yukiko was gone. You guys haven't seen her, have you? I thought you two might show up. That voice was talking about teams and everyone going free earlier. I knew we couldn't be the only ones here. Yeah, but I didn't expect Satonaka and Amagi. Okay, something is definitely up. I don't know who's doing this, but... Um, hey, just checking. Are we back inside the TV? Actually, we don't really know yet. And are you seriously eating beef skewers right now? Don't you have more important things to worry about? I was in the middle of eating them when I turned up here. I couldn't bring myself to just throw them away, and they'd be no good if they got all cold and hard. Besides, if I find Yukiko, I can share them with her. Yeah, okay. Guess you're not really the type to curl up and cry in the face of the unknown anyway. Wait a minute. How do I know you guys are even real? What if you're shadows? Oh, 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 hey, are you nuts? My arm's not supposed to bend that way. <laughs> so you really are human. Huh. Then that would mean you're the real Narukami-kun. Ha <laughs> ha It's so good to see you again. Can you at least let go of my arm before you start celebrating? You're gonna snap it off! Oh, sorry. <laughs> you never change, do you, Satanaka? <laughs> you look good, Narukami-kun. Ah, uh, is this really the best place to hold a big reunion? Oh, my arm hurts. So what even is this place? I heard a weird voice earlier talking about keystones and punishment and stuff. You heard it too, huh? I'm not sure yet either. But apparently, we can't escape if we don't keep this thing safe. And to make matters worse, we'll have to suffer some sort of embarrassing punishment too. For real? Are you telling me that if we lose that rock, we're locked up in here forever? Don't even say that. Narukami and I are searching for an exit, so that won't happen. Hmm, so basically, we've just got to find the goal while keeping that thing safe. Hm, that shouldn't be so bad. But wait, we still don't know where Yukiko is. Did you two see her or not? Sorry, we haven't. Are you sure Amagi's even here? Well, I just sort of know, I think. What makes you so sure? Hmm, woman's intuition, maybe. Sounds more like animal instinct. Uh, that's rude. Besides, we were hanging out just before I got whisked away to wherever this is, so it wouldn't be too surprising if she came here with me. Anyway, let's get going. We don't want Yukiko to get scared on her own. Wait, 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 Satonaka! This world's kind of weird, so don't just run off and... Yeah! 
fine. Don't listen to me. Huh? Ah! What the? Hmm. It's huge. What the hell is it? Is it human? Jeez, guys, he's not that weird. You're being kind of rude. Are these shadows robots? Oh, those things Naruto kun so into? Well, whatever they are, they're not normal. Wait, do you think Kirijo-san could be involved with this somehow? I don't think so. Her robots are pretty different. You've got a point. They don't seem like shadows, but they're definitely not ordinary humans either. What is going on? Hmm. Uh... Ha! <laughs> You're not half bad. Neither are you. Damn, who are these people? Satonaka included. I have the same question. Did you arrive here from another world? Whoa, it spoke! Another world? Are you familiar with the Keystones? <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you see the way they reacted? Looks like we've got ourselves a bingo. Forgive me, but you'll have to hand that over to us. Don't worry. We don't intend on using it for evil. Using it? Hold on. Do we need to use this somehow in order to get to the goal? Goal? Hmm. I believe we may have been given conflicting information. The voice told us that we need to take this thing to the goal, and that if it was taken from us, we couldn't go home. Are you trying to escape this world too? Yes. Like you, we came from another world. Another world? Yeah, I had a feeling you guys might not be from around here. That's right. First time I've ever been in a place like this. And we just kind of showed up. Wait, that's not quite right. It's like we were already here before we realized it. I see. Same as us, then. Do you have any clue as to who might have done this? Anything you know would be really helpful. We've got no idea why we're here, what this keystone is, where the goal is. We're basically completely stuck. Unfortunately, we don't have any idea. And even if we did, sharing that information would pose too great a risk. I'm afraid I can't tell you anything. Risk? This world is bound by several rules. While the specifics are still a mystery, we do know that if a rule is broken, a penalty will be administered. A penalty? Like, some kind of punishment? Also, we don't have a lot of time. Honestly, I feel like even talking to you might leave us stuck here forever. <sighs> Makoto... Oh, my bad. That was another rule. So there's a time limit. That's bad news. We've already said too much. We cannot afford to take any more risks. Capturing targets to minimize uncertainties. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid we'll have to resort to force. Honestly, I don't really care. But if the big guy says so... Damn it, I was hoping we'd be able to talk things out. It's too late now. We just need to buy ourselves another chance to escape. We can't afford to let them take this. You said it. Stand back, Satonaka. Nanukami and I will... Hey! Okay, ready to go. Just need to do my stretches. Um, hello? Are you listening to me? Righty yo! Entry approved! Switching to battle mode. You, Narukami, and Chie Satonaka versus Tegar and Makoto Nanaya! Fight until you're all fought out! Huh? I'm not in this one? Narukami, Satonaka, be careful! <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Just leave it to us.
Close call, but next time we'll really settle the score. We'll know once and for all which of us is the true Kung Fu master. Kung Fu what now? Did you forget why you were fighting or something? I swear, what happened to the girl who screamed the moment she saw that big guy? Well, the moment I made eye contact with that Makoto girl, I felt this tense, burning feeling in my chest. Oh good, that's just what we need. You in full burning battle spirit mode. Oh, give me a break. We couldn't move on without beating those guys anyway, right? Right. It seems that once a battle begins, nobody's allowed to move on until the other team is defeated. It must be one of the rules this world is bound by, to borrow the big guy's term. Then this definitely isn't the Midnight Channel. One thing's for sure, though. Whoever set this all up is bad news. Those guys we fought were really incredible, though. That big robot guy? Oh, he was tough for sure, but that Makoto girl was super strong for someone so cute! Was it just me, or did she have ears? Huh? Ears? Uh, well, duh. I have ears, too. Not those ears. Did you seriously not notice while you were fighting her? She had a big, bushy tail-like thing, too, right? So what? That was probably just cosplay. Nuh-uh, that thing was real. That big dude wasn't flesh and blood either. If they're not personas and they're not shadows, then what are they? Well, they did say they came from another world. So does that mean these other worlds are full of things that we didn't know could exist? Like Teddy in the TV world? Or like giant robot men and squirrel people? Mm, I'm still not sure if he was a robot or not. But anyway, we actually met these people and we actually managed to communicate with them. Even if Satonaka and that Makoto girl weren't exactly speaking in any sort of human language. <laughs> Masters have no need for words. Whatever you say. Anyway, the first two guys that Narukami and I encountered seem to know each other. Maybe everyone we'll run into here is just trying to get back to wherever they came from. You might be right. And since this stone is their key to escaping, they want to get it from us, whatever it takes. But didn't it seem like Tager and Makoto had a different objective than we did? Yeah. But they did mention that they might get stuck here, so they're probably trying to get out too, even if they're trying to do it in a different way. Hmm, I don't really get it, but I'd feel bad if we were the only ones here who got to go home. I agree, but there's no guarantee that we'll even make it back. We can't afford to worry about everyone else. Oh, uh, maybe. But for now, let's just get back to finding Yukiko. You said Amagi was gone when you found yourself here, right? Yeah, but after I got dizzy, I felt like I was falling. I swear, I heard her scream. She must be here. I believe you, but I don't see her anywhere around here. We should move on, or else those two might come back for us. Roger, let's do it! Yeah, let's go! 